Setting CGM Alerts Your T-Slim G4 system can alert you to certain readings and conditions. This section explains some of the most common alerts. It explains how to customize the alerts to get the most benefit from them. And it explains how to respond properly to each alert. In this section you will learn about some of the alerts you may receive from your T-Slim G4 system. The section begins with high and low alerts. These alerts tell you when your sensor glucose readings are higher or lower than the targets you set. Next, the section explains rise and fall alerts. These alerts tell you when your glucose levels are rising or falling and how quickly the levels are changing. The next topic in this section is out of range alerts. Your T-Slim G4 system alerts you with an out of range alert when the transmitter and pump are not communicating. Finally, you will learn some ideas about how to effectively manage the CGM information you receive. High and Low Alerts The T-Slim G4 system can alert you when your sensor glucose readings are higher or lower than the targets you set. This can help you know when you may be approaching hypoglycemia or low blood sugar, or hyperglycemia or high blood sugar. You can personalize these alerts for your target glucose value for how often you are reminded, and for other information. The system also has a 55 mg per deciliter low glucose alert that is a safety feature. This feature lets you know when your glucose may be dangerously low. This setting cannot be changed or turned off. When your T-Slim G4 system alerts you that your sensor glucose reading is higher or lower than the targets you choose, it also shows you trend information. In addition to setting targets for these alerts, you can also set the T-Slim G4 system to repeat high and low alerts. This is called the repeat feature. You can control how often the system will repeat a high alert or low alert. This demo shows you how to set your high and low alerts and the repeat feature. We will show and explain the steps. You can change the numbers for both the high and low alerts. You change each number, high and low, separately. To set the low alert, follow these instructions. From the CGM home screen, tap Options, tap My CGM, tap CGM Alerts, tap High and Low. To set the low alert, tap Press to turn on, tap Alert Me Below. The default setting for the low alert is 80 mg per deciliter. To turn off the low alert, tap Off On. The screen will indicate that Off is selected. Using the on-screen keypad, enter the value below which you want to be notified. The low glucose alert values can be set between 60 and 100 mg per deciliter in 1 mg per deciliter increments. For this demo, we will enter 70. Tap Done. Tap Save. To set your high glucose alert, you follow the same steps as to set your low glucose alert until you reach the high-low button. At that point, tap Press to turn on. Tap Alert Me above. The default setting for the high alert is 200 mg per deciliter. To turn off the high alert, tap off on. The screen will indicate that off is selected. Using the on-screen keypad, enter the value above which you want to be notified. The high glucose alert value can be set between 120 and 400 mg per deciliter in 1 mg per deciliter increments. For this demo, we'll enter 180. Tap Done. Tap Save. The setting Save screen appears. The repeat feature allows you to set a time for the high or low alert to sound again and display on your pump. As long as your sensor glucose reading is higher or lower than the value you set for the alert. The default value for the repeat feature is never. The alert will not sound again. You can set a different repeat time period for high alerts and for low alerts. This demo shows you how to set the repeat feature. We will show and explain the steps. You set the repeat feature on the same screen where you set the high alert or the low alert, respectively. On that screen, tap Repeat. 
To select the repeat time, tap the time you want the alert to sound again. You can set the repeat feature to sound again every 15 minutes, 30 minutes, 1 hour, 2 hours, 3 hours, 4 hours, or 5 hours. Use the up and down arrows to view all repeat options. For instance, if you select one hour as the repeat time, the alert will sound every hour as long as your sensor glucose reading remains outside the alert value you choose. Once you select a value, the pump will return to the previous screen. For this demo in practice, we'll select 30 minutes. Tap Save. Rise and Fall Alerts. The T-Slim G4 system can alert you when your glucose levels, based on your CGM sensor glucose readings, are rising or falling. These rise and fall alerts let you know when your glucose is rising or falling quickly, and by how much. Rise and fall alerts assist in avoiding possible high blood sugar or low blood sugar. About rise and fall alerts. You can choose to be alerted when your glucose levels are rising or falling by 2 mg per deciliter or more per minute, or by 3 mg per deciliter or more per minute. The default value for both alerts is off. When turned on, the default value is 3 mg per deciliter. This demo shows you how to set the rise alert and then how to set the fall alert. To set the rise alert, follow these instructions. From the CGM home screen, tap Options. Tap My CGM. Tap CGM Alerts. Tap Rise and Fall. Tap Rise Alert. To select the default, which is 3 mg per deciliter per minute, tap Save. To change your selection, tap Rate. Note, to turn off the Rise Alert, tap Off On. Tap 2 mg per deciliter per minute to select. Once the value is selected, the pump will return to the previous screen. Tap Save. To set the Fall Alert, you follow the same steps as to set the Rise Alert until you reach the Rise and Fall Selection screen. At that point, tap Fall Alert. To select the default, which is 3 mg per deciliter per minute, tap Save. To change your selection, tap Rate. Note, to turn off the Fall Alert, tap Off On. Tap 2 mg per deciliter per minute to select. Once a value is selected, the pump will return to the previous screen. Tap Save. Out of range alert. If the transmitter and the T-Slim pump are not communicating, CGM readings will not be sent from the sensor to the pump. This means sensor glucose readings and trend information will be missing during this time. It also means sensor glucose readings that would trigger high and low alerts and rise and fall alerts may be missed. About the out-of-range alert. If the transmitter and the pump are not communicating, you will see an out-of-range symbol on the CGM home screen of your T-Slim G4 pump instead of a glucose reading. Often the transmitter and the pump are not communicating because they are not close enough to each other to be within communication range. For example, if you take your pump off to go swimming and leave the pump outside the pool, your transmitter will not be able to communicate with the pump. You can receive alert for this situation called the out-of-range alert. You activate this alert by turning on the out-of-range alert. When the alert is turned on, an alert is activated after the transmitter and pump have been out of communication range for the number of minutes selected for the setting. The default setting is 30 minutes. For example, say you accidentally left your pump at your desk and went to a meeting on another floor. If your out-of-range alert is set to on, your pump sounds an alert that others can hear and tell you about. This demo shows how to set the out-of-range alert. To set the out-of-range alert, follow these instructions. From the CGM home screen, tap Options. Tap My CGM. Tap CGM Alerts. Tap Out of Range. Note, the default value is off and 30 minutes if on. To select 30 minutes, tap Save. To change the time, tap Alert Me After. Using the on-screen keypad, enter the time after which you want to be alerted. Then tap Done. Note, times between 20 minutes and 3 hours and 20 minutes can be entered. For this demo, we'll enter 40 minutes. 4, 0, and then tap Done, 
and then tap Save. Managing CGM Alerts As you learn to work with your T-Slim G4 system, it's important to pay attention to the alerts and alarms the system gives you. It's also important to effectively manage the information you receive. In this topic, you will learn some ideas about how to do that. The alerts and alarms on your T-Slim G4 system provide you with information that helps you manage your diabetes. But remember, it's possible to have too much of a good thing. Try to avoid a situation where you receive so many alerts and alarms that you begin to ignore them. Choosing the most effective target numbers to use for alerts may take some trial and error. For example, when the T-Slim G4 system alerts you to a sensor glucose reading that is just above your target, you may find the alert annoying or intrusive. If that happens, you may decide to set your target a little higher. Your healthcare provider can assist you in these decisions. You can set the sound pattern and volume for CGM alerts and prompts to meet your individual needs. You can choose from vibrate, soft, normal, and hypo-repeat. Hypo-repeat sounds the alert every five seconds until you acknowledge the alert. Choose a sound pattern and volume that will catch your attention. To learn more about the details of the sound patterns and volumes available, see the user guide. This demo shows you how to select your CGM volume. We will show and explain the steps. Follow these instructions to select your CGM volume. From the CGM home screen, tap Options. Tap My CGM. Tap CGM Settings. Tap CGM Volume to change your setting. Tap Vibrate, Soft, Normal, or Hypo Repeat to select. The default setting is Normal. For this demo and practice, select Soft. Once a value is selected, the pump will return to the previous screen. Tap Save. The setting saved screen appears. Another thing to remember about alerts is that CGM gives you access to more frequent glucose readings than you may be used to. If you set high alerts, you will receive an alert each time a sensor reading goes above the setting. Often, someone who is new to CGM will see a high glucose level and will want to treat the high reading with insulin more often than is necessary. That can risk hypoglycemia or low blood sugar. The T-Slim G4 system can help you avoid this mistake with the Insulin on Board or IOB calculation. That calculation can help you avoid taking too much insulin. Remember, as we discussed earlier, a CGM sensor glucose reading may lag behind a blood glucose meter reading from a finger stick check in showing glucose levels. This is particularly likely when your blood glucose is changing rapidly. This is why it's important to confirm a high or low alert with a finger stick check.